Hello, hello, I am Bridget, and the purpose of this video is to talk about the five female friends to avoid on your journey. Now, this could be a journey for you tapping into your higher self, spiritual journey, higher consciousness, or whatever you would call it. This could be a journey of you finding your purpose or passion in life. It can be a journey of you um, exuding more feminine energy or dating and trying to obtain a, a partner or healthy relationship. Any type of journey that you are going on, these are the five female friends that you should avoid. Before I begin, I would just want to share with my supporters that a couple of my videos will have only audio version of them, like this particular one with a still picture in front of you. It is helpful for me to do these particular videos because my schedule is kind of complex right now and I have about 40 to 50 videos that I want to get out. So with that being said, let's begin. Number one, the loud friend. The loud friend is a friend to avoid because she will embarrass you. You're not going to be able to take her everywhere. And she might not be loud just by her voice, but she might be loud with her color, with her attitude. And remember, feminine energy, feminine energy is soft. Whether we're talking about a voice or not, feminine energy is soft. And so the people around you, they really tell others a story about you. I remember my grandma used to say, Show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. So that's a friend to avoid. Number two, the jealous friend. The jealous friend is, is a friend to avoid because you could see it in her eyes. You could feel it in her energy. When you're telling her the good news about you. Yeah, she's a friend to avoid. And you you just you just know that she's jealous because energy energy doesn't lie. And to be honest with you, she's simply jealous of you because you can do what she wish she had done. You have that determination, that will, <laughs> that discipline that she doesn't have right now or well really she has it. She just doesn't want to exude it in her physical reality. She's just lazy. So she's just going to be jealous of you. So she's somebody to avoid because she can and will become a stumbling block in your journey. Number three, the messy friend. The messy friend talks about everybody. And guess what? When you're not around, she's talking about you too. She's messy because her life is messy and she's trying to deflect from her own issues. <laughs> so she mentioned everybody else's issues. She know everything about everybody, but never speaks of herself because it's too messy and chaotic. She's a friend to avoid. Number four, the competing friend. Let's be on our own journey. This journey is not about competing with other people. It's simply about becoming the greater version that you once were. So if you have anybody trying to compete with you, let them be, avoid them. And number five, the negative friend. The negative friend, you could be doing the most exciting, more, most, uh, rewarding the most thrilling thing that you could ever even think of you could be going on a date with barack barack obama and a negative friend to say something like girl you better watch out he might be trying to get you to go to the white house to kill you <laughs> i mean think about the most silliest the most negative thing that they could think of about every situation this is a friend you need to avoid because this friend, pretty much what she's doing is lowering your frequency, trying to keep you on that low level where she is and she cannot seem to evolve from. <laughs> she's a friend to avoid. I personally believe we should venture out alone until we find those people that we vibrate with. Because 
your tribe is where you are going and not where you are leaving from. It feels comfortable for me to say that though, because I'm an introverted person. And so I kind of go naturally within me anyway, when I'm on a particular journey for self improvement in any area of my life. For example, when just as simple as me wanting to change the way that I dress, you know, and become more feminine on the outside, you know, wearing more dresses, more heels and nail polish and makeup and, and doing different things with my hair. I face that moment in my life alone because nobody in my physical reality was, was putting that much effort into their appearance, especially during Corona, the, during the time when I started. You know, I only knew maybe two women who was really into perfecting their makeup. So I, I, I got on YouTube and started watching women put their makeup on. Sometimes in your life, there's no one around that can really, really be assistance in the so-called friendship area. Sometimes not, your so-called friends don't know the answer to where you're going anyway. So the thing to do is to avoid them because they can't help you at that moment. But here's some friends that I, I want to share before I go that you want to embrace. You want to embrace the cheerleader friend. That friend that tell you, girl, I don't know what it is that you're doing, but keep it up. You're looking good. I believe in you. You can do it. You want to embrace that coach type friend. Now, the coach type friend, he's it's probably going to be a man. I'm not talking about a man as, you know, like um, trying to maybe have sex with you. I'm talking about a man, solid friend that you, maybe you don't talk to on the phone every night, but when you do talk to him, it's like talking to a brother. This type of man where you do, when you do talk to him and you could tell him what's going on in your physical reality, he'll get you out of your feelings and he'll help you think logically about everything that you're going through. Because, you know, we as women, we're emotional creatures, so we get emotional about the little things, but, but he'll teach you or show you how to stay focused on the logic. That's the type of friend that you want to embrace and, and keep around. And you also want to keep around that peer friend, you know, the person that um, they're on a similar journey with you. They might not be uh, maybe, maybe, maybe they're on a journey of evolving in religion, but you're on a journey of evolving spiritually into consciousness. There is a similar journey. They have similar stories where people are maybe, I guess, rebuking them, so to speak, or casting judgment on them or giving them a hard time because they have different beliefs. But this peer friend, you can understand them and they can understand you if you take out, if you take out the idea of what you both look at God as being. There are so many different things there that you can relate with one another with. So a peer friend is, is a good friend to embrace. Embrace the reason why, friend. Now, the reason why, friend, it might be your mother, it might be your father, it might be your children, it might be your grandchildren, it might even be yourself. But always embrace that reason why, friend. Because the reason why, friend, is going to be that energy that's going to keep you going. This reason why, friend, might not be able to talk, might not be able to walk. <laughs> but establish your reason why. And then there's the mentor. The mentor, friend. And, and when I say mentor, I mean your higher self. Your higher self, that is the friend who's going to give you the emotions as an indicator that you're on track. 
you want to be the closest friend to your higher self. Because your higher self knows what's ahead. Your higher self knows all because your higher self is connected to infinite intelligence. So trust him or her, knowing that they're at the top and tapped in the source energy and that they will always be your best friend forever. And then the, there's the motivational friend. That motivational friend is there for encouragement. It doesn't have to be somebody in the physical reality if you do, don't know one. You can look up one on YouTube. I, I have two motivational friends that I go to. One of them is Abraham Hicks. She, she taught me in my journey, you could be, do, or have anything it is that you are wanting and that you create your own reality. And from time to time, I, I listen, you know, when I have time to her, but I know in, in my lower place in life, I listen to her daily. And she motivated me. And then there was this another lady, Miss Lisa Nichols. And I mentioned to her when I was writing in my book, when I was at my lower self and I felt discouraged. And I just was looking through YouTube and stumbled upon this lady. And the, the beautiful thing about her is she, she motivated me by asking me if I was willing to disrupt any form of what I knew by asking me if I was willing to reinvent myself, reinvent myself and become someone that I had never seen before. And she was always talk about, talking about being willing to let go of things, you know, and everybody and becoming more valuable later to them. So today, I'd like to encourage you like Lisa inspired me. Do not become too attached to who you've been because the person you are becoming is waiting for you. You are your rescue, not your friends. From my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed.